When you're a kid, learning and playing always seem to be on opposite sides. But we believe we can change that. Meet Spiro Spark Edition, the playful robot that makes programming fun and offers challenges for every skill level. Spark began as a local meetup group where we taught kids how to code. A year later, we launched a series of free lessons, enabling students and teachers to discover all that's possible with the Spiro Ball. Now, as we face a future where coding will be as important as reading and writing, we want to give everyone the opportunity to learn the language of tomorrow. In the box, you'll find Spiro Spark Edition, an induction charger, and a few other handy tools to help you get creative. The ball itself comes packed with all the same sensors and electronics as Spiro 2.0, but unlike Sphero 2.0's white shell, we've encased Spark Edition in clear polycarbonate, bringing you closer to the robotic action. Get started by downloading the Spark app and connecting to your ball via Bluetooth. If you're new to coding, learn some basic principles by first exploring the sample programs. Then, set off to create your very own, using drag and drop commands like roll, spin, flip, and color change. At any time, you can even access the actual code behind the blocks and get a sense of how text-based programming operates. As you can see, on the front of the Goatee Saver, there are three different adjustments that you can take and make. There is an adjustment that you can make uh, for the top part, closer to your uh, to the top part of your face and then there's a middle adjustment that you can make which will be closer to your mouth or the bottom. This will allow you to be able to get the size and style of goatee that you would like to have. Before I actually shave with the goatee saver I also wanted to show you that there is an adjustment on the back for the mouthpiece. I will tell you that most people will need to use the mouthpiece in the default position. But you can take and twist and move the mouthpiece up higher if you wanted to adjust it on a different part of your face. Before you take and shave with the goatee saver, it's important to use a trimmer to get your goatee or Van Dyke to the length that you want to have it before shaving with the goatee saver. On the top of the goatee saver, there is a place that will allow you to line the product up with the center of your nose. That way you know that the goatee saver is straight on your face. Once you have the goatee saver placed on your face and you begin to shave, it is very important not to move the goatee saver until you're finished shaving. After I get through shaving with the goatee saver, I'll remove it and then take the straight edge of the razor and use it to shave right underneath my nose. When you shave with the goatee saver, one of the things that you'll notice is there is still about an eighth of an inch of hair that will stick out beyond the goatee saver. If you look at the bottom of the razor, you can see that the reason this is the case is because how the razor was designed. There's about an eighth of an inch between the edge of the razor and the razor.